Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Your time. This is News in Details. Thank you for joining us. And if you're a new member, you're welcome, old ones. Thank you for being here. It has been a long time. Um, I've not been able to bring news to us. So we are back here again. And um, it's a sad one. Yesterday was Black Sunday in Nigeria. But the question is, we are so, um, um, we have to be mindful of what we bring up here. So this video is not being pulled down. Now we know what happened at um, Ondo Akure um, in St. Francis Catholic Church, where there was a massacre. Now the Oni of Ife has spoken and he is making it clear in his own words, that they will not just sit and wait for such to happen again, that they are ready to face anything that is coming up. A lot of people are speaking up. And we know that the Oni of Ife is another, um, another king in Yoruba land that a lot of people pay attention to. He pulls his own crowd. So him speaking against this massacre, it's a starting point. And we hope that as a lot of people begin to speak up against this uh, thing that happened, we know that it is getting out of hand. Um, how can people go to a place of worship and all of a sudden they are being attacked and they are being killed by Anybody that think they can just pick up weapon and start taking lives that they cannot give. And what are people doing about it? Nobody is doing anything about it. Every day we wake up, we hear of one news or the other. It's always bad news all through. And nothing is happening. And we also um, remember what uh, Mr. Bola Ahmed Tunubu de Jagaban of Lagos. I hope you people have not forgotten. He came out on air in his own statement. He was the person that installed Buhari. That is what he said. And there was an agreement. I begin to wonder. There was an agreement when you made sure that it was installed to Nigeria. Now, everybody are facing the music. Everybody are dancing to the dance of the spirit. Let me use that word. What is happening now? You installed him. You made sure he was the he is the president. You know, in the condition that nothing will happen to the Eurobars. What about other people? Honestly, when I listen to this, I was wounded in my spirit, and I keep asking, which way, which way, which way are we really going? Look at the loss of lives. Every now and then, and nothing is being done about it. It's just like um, human lives no longer mean anything to these people. And when you speak up, your video is being taken down. That is just the worst part of it. This is where people are at. If you're not being taken down by the police, if you're not being taken down by the henchmen, if you're not being taken down by the um, by the Boko Haram, if you're not being taken down by the unknown government, just the uncertainty is uncalled for. No peace anywhere. I keep on asking, these people that are being taken down every now and then, are they not people's uh, 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 relatives, parents, children? Destiny is being wasted. All because Jagaban of Lagos made sure that Buhari came to power. Now you see what uh, Sunday Bohosha was clamoring for? Can we see it unfolding? Can we see what these people were clamoring for? And they made sure that everything was done in their power to make sure that they subdued those people that were speaking the truth. The worst part now in Nigeria is you speak the truth, you are taken down. You don't speak the truth, you are still taken down. Then what part do you belong to? That is the question. How can 
let people no longer be safe in their uh, in their country. You just can't do anything. You can't speak up. You cannot do anything. These are the things Sunday Igboho and Mazen and the Kano that is still in detention of the DSS. These are what they were clamoring for because they saw it coming. But a lot of people say they were mad. A lot of people call them noise make. A lot of people call them names. But remember, these are men that are already self made. They are not begging you for anything. But they saw what is about to hit the people, the poor masses that cannot fight for themselves. It was an eyesore. I'm sorry, I cannot display most of the pictures because if I do, the video will be taken down. That is just the country we live in. So when your FIFA is saying that it is better, everybody stands up and get ready because these people has really taken more than they can chew. You can't, you can't just invent, invent people's land or invent people's privacy and you tell them to keep quiet. So please do not forget to like, share, your comment below and I will see you on my next video. Thank you for always being there. Bye everybody.